Another challenge for our future, deciding how to power Indiana's next century. Without coal, the marvelous social and industrial progress which marks our civilization could not have been achieved. Generations of Hoosiers earned their living as coal miners. The statue outside the State House recalls their contribution to Indiana history. No finer person in the world than, than an Indiana coal miner. Bruce Stevens represents the mining industry in Indiana. He says today 80% of Indiana's electricity comes from this form of fossil fuel. That's down from 95% 20 years ago. Stevens worries the percentage may fall even more because of environmental rules from the federal government. They have attempted, and they've done a pretty good job, of trying to regulate an industry completely out of business because there is no way the standards can be met. Peabody Coal, the country's largest coal mining company, became the latest in its field to declare bankruptcy. Peabody blamed what it called an unprecedented industry downturn. Evidence of that can be found in a report from the Indiana Business Research Center. It says the state is diversifying its energy portfolio by moving away from coal. Natural gas powers boilers at Ball State University. We no longer burn coal. We stopped burning coal in March of 2014. It's a paradigm shift. I refer to it constantly as a paradigm shift from one must burn coal to heat a building to I can use electrical power to run a geothermal operation and do the same thing. Professional engineer James Lowe oversees the system. He says it features three options, three different loops for heating and cooling. It can even absorb body heat. Hoosiers are also warming up to solar power. A Purdue study found 76% of Indiana's solar capacity could be found in Marion County. Indigo, the Indianapolis bus system, now has solar panels on the roof of its massive old transit center. Technology is really opening up a lot of new possibilities for us to rethink how we're getting around. Fossil fuels have been kind of the base of our transportation systems for years and years. Brian Llewellyn says the evidence at Indigo suggests transportation systems will continue to evolve away from reliance on gasoline and diesel fuel for power. In Crawfordsville, every sunrise is a reminder of the evolution toward different sources of energy. We're transitioning from a coal-fired power plant that powered our community for you know, well over a century to, to re really green power that will uh, power us into the future. The power produced here offsets what Crawfordsville pulls from the power grid, and more panels are coming. These sites will prove valuable for more than the energy they provide. They'll also help with economic development. The world that we live in today, um, the, uh, the political climate, we um, are moving towards more um, renewables as part of the uh, overall power supply. So uh, for investor relations, companies um, uh, want to have that as a piece uh, to say that we're building here because there is more renewable power supply. Wind power is considered one of the lowest cost renewables available, but in Indiana, its popularity slowed. The financial crisis of 2008 restricted the availability of investment dollars, and the low cost of natural gas makes wind energy technology less attractive. Sooner or later, someone's going to build a better mousetrap, kind of like the, what was it, the flux capacitor in Back to the Future that ran off of, of garbage and powered the, the car on there. You know, someday everyone is going to have a little fuel cell on the side of their home. Um, that, that's what's going to, to take place, but we're not there yet, and Indiana's economy is built upon coal and the, the electricity and the affordable energy that it provides. There's no other fuel for Indiana that can provide the energy content that, that coal does. It just, it just does not exist. You'd expect that declaration from the coal industry spokesman. But that sentiment is echoed by the man in Muncie whose career now relies on the success of renewable energy. I don't believe coal is, is done. There's others who will be using that now. Um, there are entities like the environmental groups who want coal to be done. But in the state of Indiana, there's still a lot of uses for coal. 